Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to share a little, like, different of a haul for me. Um, this is Walmart Wax, um, a Better Homes and Garden main stand. I think there's, like, maybe one sensational. Um, whoop, and Lynch. Um, anyways, you know, I do buy, I do buy wax from Walmart, like, retail wax. Um, I try not to buy it a lot. Um, but it's really hard because I usually go grocery shopping at Walmart and I always have to go look at it. Um, and bef you know, I've been into vendor wax for, I'm going to be a year in February. Um, but before then I was, you know, I, I wasn't like obsessed with retail wax, but I, I still had an awful lot of it. Like, you know, like one of those plastic shoe containers. Um, I had like maybe six of those full of like clamshells for retail wax, which, um, is still a lot for a normal person, <laughs> but it's not like the amount of, you know, um, vendor wax that I have. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm in a retail, um, retail wax group on Facebook. Um, and you know, they've been all been going crazy for the Christmas stuff that was coming out. So, um, you know, I had to go look, of course. Um, <laughs> and I pretty much ended up buying one of each, pretty much, except maybe like one or two that I thought were really gross, smelling on cold to me, personally. Um, but anyways, I don't normally share that stuff. I usually just get like a couple of time and throw them in my bins um, for my retail wax. And my retail wax, I just melt in my kitchen. Um, in my kitchen, I keep like my older light bulb warmers that I used before I got into Vendor Wax and realized that those aren't very good for, you know, higher, you know, like wax, like Vendor Wax and these higher temp. So anyways, um, I thought I'd share you know what I got. This is a couple of different, um, times going to Walmart. I didn't buy it all at once. Um, and it's all Christmas collection except, um, one scent that I got some backups of, of a fall one. Um, but anyways, let me know if you guys like these videos or not. Um, you know, it takes me time to do these and if no one's interested in them, that's okay. But I saw someone else doing some, um, that also does interact. So I was like, well, I might as well show what I got. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead, um, I went a little overboard, but I, you know, I'm really into, like, I, I love seasonal wax, um, and I really didn't really need any of this, because I already have, like, a shoebox container full of Christmas wax from, like, last year and previous years, um, but I do, do go through it fast in my kitchen, because I do three cubes between two warmers, um, sometimes I'll let something in all day, but sometimes I'll change it at least once, so I do go, pro do go through it pretty fast, so... Okay, this first one is Iced Winter Cranberry. Yeah, it's just like a fruity. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of this one from a couple years ago. They were on clearance. Um, Fresh Cut Fraser. Fraser. Yeah, it just smells like Christmas tree. So, um, I'm pretty sure I have some of this left from last year. But, um, you know, it's always a good one to have. Um, this one is Salted Caramel Grams. If this one is from another year, I don't remember it. Um, it definitely smells like caramel. I'm a little nervous though it smells like the caramel that kind of smells like chocolate, so we'll see on that one. Um, this one I got two, and I didn't really mean to, um, and I went to Walmart just the other day, I think Monday, like two days ago. Um... I saw this one and I thought I didn't get it the day before, like the, not the day before, like the week before um, when I was getting most of them, but apparently I did, so that's okay. This one definitely smells really like pine, like evergreen trees. Um, there might be something else in it, you know, kind of like woodsy, maybe a little minty, it's kind of fresh. Um, this is one, I got two of these, Festive Twinkling Lights. This is one I've definitely had in past years, and I really love this one. Um, I probably still have some left from last year. I, it's like, it's a little bit like Christmas tree, but it's not like straight up Christmas tree. It has some other stuff in it, and I don't really know. You know, with Better Homes and Garden Wax, there's not like some descriptions. Sometimes you can find some online, um, like on Walmart's website, but they're not like... You know, you think of with Fender Wax. So this one is Cypress and Frankincense. Yeah, I mostly get like that kind of earthy, like, 
scent that I would think is frankincense instead of like pine tree, which is like a green one. Um, this one is winter morning latte. I think this one is a new one as well. If it's not, I don't remember it. Sorry if you guys hear something in the background. My, uh, my toddler is supposed to be sleeping <laughs> at least probably like an hour ago for his nap. And he's in the crib. And I have a baby monitor on him downstairs. But, uh, he's fighting sleeping. He's talking. Um, and yeah, this, this morning latte one, um, gosh, I don't, it doesn't super smell like coffee to me, but it does maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't think it really smells pepperminty, considering that that's what they have in the picture, but that doesn't always mean anything. Um, this one, Frosty Winter Nights. Um, if I have this one from previous years, I don't remember it. This one's really minty. Yeah, it's like a really minty fresh one. So I'm excited to try that one. Um, and then this one is Cranberry Popcorn, popcorn Garland. Um, I definitely smell popcorn. Not sure I get a whole ton of cranberry. Um, it's definitely one I keep seeing in like the retail wax group, like really mixed reviews, and people really hate this one. Um, this one is firewood and fir balsam. Yeah, you definitely get that like. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Definitely get that like woody scent. Like fresh, like cut, like you know, firewood. But you do get a little bit of that, um, like, pine tree as well. This one is Caramel Sugared Fig. Um, I don't really get caramel. Well, I'm not sure I know what fig smells like, but this one's really perfumey. Um, this one is Cherry Chestnut Bread. Um, and if you watch my videos at all, I really hate cherry scents. But this one doesn't really smell that cherry on cold, so for $2 I wanted to try it. Um, it smells mostly fruity. It doesn't smell like like the cherry that I think of um, from Venerax, so we'll see. Um, okay, this one I got three of. A Wonderful Winter. This one is very minty. But I think it might be like mint and then like pine trees, like Christmas trees, if I had to take a guess. So I got three of those. Um, I don't know if I've had this one in past years. Um, it's hard for me to know if they come back or not because they use different pictures and sometimes it's hard. I will definitely know when I pull out my Christmas axe on like December 1st for my retail stuff. Um, this one is Season of Joy. Mm. This one's more like a fruity, a fruity kind of Christmassy. It's like a little spicy, but not too bad. Um, this one is Candied Caramel Pecan. Um, I have another one of this as well upstairs. Um, it was in with like the fall wax. My Walmart has like the Christmas wax over in like the actual Christmas gift section as opposed to like their wax section. Um, and the first time I went looking for the wax, I just went in the wax section and it wasn't there. But I saw like one like this and I just grabbed it. Um... I definitely smell bakery. It kind of smells cinnamony, so we'll see. Um, you know, I think with like retail waxes, it's like paraffin. Um, I think a lot of times it's really hard to sniff on cold. Um, I guess this is the only sensational I got. Tis the season. Um, and these are like the little ones that are like meant to be um, mixed. So like two of these is like the size of a normal clamshell. Um, Perfectly Pine and Red Hot Cinnamon. Um, I definitely wanted to try this. I think the mixed bowl ones are fun. I don't love Red Hot Cinnamon on its own, but um, that I'd try it. Uh, and then this is another mixed bowl. This is a Better Homes and Garden. Perfect Winter Kiss, Winter Cuddle, and Frosted Mint. Um, and I do have another one of these as well that I bought. Um, these came out, these Better Homes and Garden mixables came out with a fall wax. Um, I haven't tried melting yet, but 
Yeah, it's definitely minty, like a minty fresh. Um, and then I'm just gonna go through these mainstay ones real quick. Um, cranberry mistletoe. I definitely kind of get like a fruity cranberry sort of scent, so I will try that. And these are like, if you haven't tried the mainstays, they're like half the size of the other regular clamshells, and they're half the price. Evergreen spruce. Mm. Yeah, definitely like Christmas trees. I wanted to compare, they also have this one that's like pine wax cubes. Um, and I tend to call all those trees like pine trees, <laughs> even though I know that's technically not right. I'll do a side by side. Yeah, I'm not good at this because they, they smell pretty similar to me, but we'll see. For 99 cents, I'm going to try them. Um, and um, this was another one where I didn't know if I had it. That's part of the problem, like not buying them all in one time. Um, but I really like gingerbread scents for Christmas, so I'm fine having two. Yeah, it's just it smells like gingerbread spice. That'll be good. And then this one is by the fire. Um, and it's like. <laughs> It definitely smells, it's not just like a campfire smoke scent, um, it definitely smells like a, like a fireside marshmallow to me, so I'm excited to try this, I may have to try this before the 1st of December, um, it's not like super duper sweet, but, um, yeah, so, before I saw that one, I, I had seen it in a candle, um, and I don't really burn candles, I like candles in theory, um, but, you know, I have a toddler, and I have a very paranoid husband, um, so it's just, it's not a good combination. So, I bought this one because I didn't see it first, the mainstay's clamshell of this. Um, and sometimes with the mainstay in the Better Homes and Garden, they will have some scents that are in candles and not in clamshells. And I don't know why, but it's just how it is. Um... So I bought the candle thinking either maybe I'd melt it or like I could chunk it up to melt. Um, but then I did get the clamshell and I didn't, I don't think they had it before. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll try that. Um, I'll probably try the, the melt first <laughs> and see if it's even worth it. Um, and then these are candles in the scent that everyone has been talking about in the um, retail wax group is marshmallow candy cane. I have went to Walmart several times now since I've found their, um, you know, like the winter wax and I cannot find any and there's none. Like, <laughs> and I think, I, I think it's probably going really fast. So the store probably has it and it goes really fast or it might even be back ordered because people are going crazy about it. At least the stuff I see. So they did have it in candles and they had like six candles. Um, and I, I talked myself down. <laughs> <laughs> and got two. Um, I did actually just find a candle crack today at um, Goodwill for pretty cheap, but like a Christmas one. So I might try putting one of those in a crock. Um, and if that doesn't go well, I'll probably just chunk it. Um, you know, I hear people say that they do where you just put it in like the freezer and it comes out. Um, I wonder if that wouldn't work as well for these because it's slightly tapered. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, but yeah, it definitely, it's just like a sweet candy cane minty scent. Um, so I'm excited to try those. I am going to keep looking out and see if they get clamshells. I'm hoping that the further on we get, maybe they will. Because it's just, it's you know, it's just the beginning of like people buying winter or Christmas stuff. So I would think that they would get more in, hopefully. Um, but I'm just going to keep washing out. <laughs> Um, and then this one, I got, let's see, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these banana pumpkin bread. Um, I melted a clamshell of this, um, like, last week, and I was surprised. It was super duper strong. Um, and just, like, it doesn't really smell a whole lot like banana to me, but it's, like, a really creamy, really strong bakery, really sweet. Um, 
and I really liked it. And it, you know, I only had one because it just seemed like kind of a weird, you know, like banana pumpkin. You know, it seems kind of random. So, um, yeah, when I melted that, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. So I bought a bunch. Um, I will save these till next year. Maybe I'll melt like I don't even know if I'll melt one more clamshell, but um, you know, some of these retail waxes. This might come back next year, and then it'll be fine, and then I could get more, but. They discontinue scents, and they don't really, like, tell you that they're going to discontinue it. So, I, I think with retail wax especially, if you really like a scent, you should buy a bunch when you can. Um, because they, you know, they don't give you any warning, and, and it's, you know, a whole year in between when you bought it, and then now it's it's gone. Um, but, um, you know, I think some people might be like, oh, you know what, be that good. Well, I have retail wax from, I was melting stuff this year from like 2014 and still getting a good throw in a light bulb. And I think if you'd even put it in a higher watt, like a mainstays, like 24 watt, you'd probably be even better. Um, so yeah, that's all the Christmas masks I got. I don't think I'm going to get any more because I bought way too much and I have, I have like a whole shoe box from last year. Um, so I think the only way I get more is maybe if I got the marshmallow candy cane. Um, if I find that one in clamshells, or if, you know, I melt one of these and it's really phenomenal, I might buy some more, but I really do want to get through a bunch of the stuff that's old. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Um, let me know if you enjoyed seeing like my Walmart hauls, um, for wax. It's not something I normally do, but I thought I'd try this time. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. Um, I probably won't have another fall until like spring wax comes out or something, but um, you never know. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.